What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian. And you know, every now and then you have that 16 gigabytes of RAM just laying around and you just bought a new system and it comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and you think, uh, I should not upgrade that to 24 because 24 is just not a good number for most people. You always imagine 4 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 16, 32, 64, etc, etc, but 24, it just doesn't make sense. And most when the memories have a different speed. But let's see if that was a good choice or not in today's video. All right, guys, so let's see what I'm working with right now, right? So my laptop's an MSI GF615 9SD 251, 15.6 inches, 120 hertz gaming laptop, Intel Core i5-9300H with a GTX 1660 Ti, not eight gigabytes, mine's actually six gigabytes, but it has a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Now, another difference between my system and this system is that this one comes with an eight gigabyte stick of RAM running at 24 megahertz. Mine actually runs at 32 megahertz. Now, while this system right now is posted on Amazon for $999.99, I actually bought mine for 650 in June, but that was on a sale. Now, the other thing is I bought that system right before I came back to the United States and got that delivered to my address in here. So by the time I actually arrived to the United States, the system was already waiting for me. And by knowing that, and since I had a laptop that had some issues, but did have a 16 gigabytes memory, I decided to bring that with me. And the plan was to upgrade that. As you probably noticed, that's been six months and I haven't done that until today. Now, one of the other things is my 16 gigabyte memory um, has a difference because it's actually a 24 megahertz speed. And knowing that my eight gigabytes runs at 32 megahertz. So in a way it is a downgrade on speeds but I get a boost of 16 gigabytes more of memory. Now, just so you guys know, I use two user benchmarks to be able to actually get the results only because the two of them give me um, slight different information that I needed. Mostly, I actually like to use user benchmark, benchmark software. But the problem is uh, when you're running the benchmark on a laptop, mostly it cannot see your graphics card. So it defaults to your board graphics, what is not the information I need. And that's why I also use Nova Bench to be able to give me a little bit more results on that. Now, as you guys can see, user benchmark just killed me in gaming and workstation, but if you notice, that's because it could not actually grade me on graphics. So I have a big red on graphics and it just destroyed that score. And that's the reason why I had to run Nova Bench. But now the information I actually needed was this, the multi-core, single core and latency and the bench. So I got in there 42.5 average, multi-core, 14.3 gigabytes per second, single core, 14 gigabytes per second, and latency, 84 nanoseconds. So that's the information I'm going to go with so I can compare later to my backyard 24 gigabyte upgrade. Now, as I run Nova Bench, as you guys can notice, uh, it can run my GeForce GTX 1660 Ti and it's running the graphics at around 60 frames per second in average. So in the end, it gives me a Nova Bench score of 1837, being CPU score 967, RAM score 
162, GPU score 592, and this score 116. So total 1837. Now we're gonna upgrade the RAM and see what we get different. And now let me know in the comments below what do you think? Is that going to improve those numbers or is that going to actually mess up at least one of those numbers? And also, this would be a great time to subscribe to the channel, give me a like and hit that notifications bell sign to see more content coming up tomorrow. Now, I am not going to show you guys how to take apart the laptop. Now, there is a great video of taking this laptop apart in the internet, and I'll leave the link in the description below. The guys from Cadillac Computer Center did a great job, so just check it out if you need help taking apart. It's very easy. I think the, I would say, not most complicated part, but the part that you have to be more careful about is really taking the back plate out just because it's uh, very plasky and you have to be just careful not to break anything and in the most when you put it back so yeah watch the video if you need any help all right so this time the upgrade's done and we're gonna do a little different we're gonna run nova bench first and see the results all right, so first of all, there's a big difference right now. So before I was running about 60 frames per second, and right now with 24 gigabytes of memory, I'm running at 160 frames per second average. So that alone is a huge improvement. Now let's see the rest of the numbers. All right, so I got about close to 500 more points on the Nova Bank score. I scored 2322, GPU score 956, RAM score 277, GPU score 975, and this score 114. Just notice one thing, even my GPU score was improved by close to 400 points. So that's just crazy. My GPU was actually not working as well as it could, basically because I didn't have enough RAM and it was causing a bottleneck. So alone, that was an improvement. And yes, it's a big deal to put 16 gigabytes of memory straight in your computer. I don't know, maybe if I had put eight gigabytes of uh, the other memory that would have improved even more but that alone shows me that it's not such a bad thing to have a weird memory setup when you feel you don't have enough memory now let's take a look at user benchmark just to see how the memory is improved on itself all right so that's crazy i just jumped from like 14 gigabytes per second to 26.6 gigabytes per second multi-core and even the single core 23.4 out of 14 so it's 10 gigabytes per second extra it's about 75 percent latency mm, not so great 69.4 but still it's just a crazy difference i know it sounds weird um I'm not saying it's the best for you to mix different memories, uh, different megahertz speeds and all that stuff. But every now and then, you may have to do it. If you have the memory, if you have this extra memory laying around, and I'm not saying put a two gigabyte on a 16 and get 18, because yeah, you probably gonna lose something. But if you have like a big stick of memory just laying around, uh, it may actually help and improve a lot of your work. And look at that too. All those numbers, even my hard drive numbers, they improved. So yes, was that a bad choice? I don't really think so. You don't agree with me? Well, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, as always, if you got to this point, this video, you guys are legends. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
And as always, I'll see you in the game.